Hi everyone, welcome back to Playdate. Today's theme is Clever Collage. We're going to be looking at and making our own collages. But what's a collage? A collage is a type of artwork where an artist takes all different pieces of other papers, photos, or other objects like that and puts them together in a new piece of art to make a new work that's called a collage. Let's take a look at one of my favorite collages that's on display now at the Milwaukee Art Museum. Let's go. Hi, check out this collage next to me here in the galleries. This is a collage by an artist named Romare Bearden and it's called The Street. And when we look at it, we can see why it's called The Street. It shows a busy scene of lots of people outside on a street in a city. And we know it's a city, not only because it's crowded, but also if we look in the background, we can see a city scene and a bridge. Let's take a closer look at the people. So when I say a collage, that is a piece of art that's made by cutting out lots of different images, in this case, photographs, and attaching them onto one surface altogether. Here in this piece, you can see photos from magazines, postcards, and other things like that, that were cut out to show all the different people and buildings and other things outside in this scene. So we can see many different people walking around on the street. I see a man holding a guitar. Maybe he's playing music. I also see right next to him a little black cat that might be running around. I wonder if that belongs to someone in the scene. You can also see things like the way that Romare Bearden mixed different body parts. Look here at this person who has a face from one photo and eyes and an ear from another photo. When you're doing collages, you can mix things up like that. Let's go back and learn how to make our own collages. Oh, I really love that collage by Romare Bearden. Isn't that cool? So now we're gonna make our own collage. You can see I have a lot of different materials in front of me. The main things you need are a surface that you can glue things to. I have a piece of cardboard. This is nice because it's a little bit stiff, um, so I can glue things to it and I won't be worried about it like being floppy or ripping or anything like that. You can cut off a piece of a box, or if you have cardstock, or even just regular people, paper will work. But um, just remember that if you glue a lot of stuff on it, it might start getting a little bit weak, so you might need to let it dry. You also need a pair of scissors and some white glue. And besides that, you just need different materials that you might find around our house. So Romare Bearden used lots of different photos and other images to make his collage. We're going to be thinking about textures. Textures are things that you can touch and they have different feelings. So think about things like my aluminum foil, which feels smooth. You can see it's really shiny. It's actually even shinier on this side. And when I touch it, it feels really smooth. There are also textures that are smooth, like I have some of these sequins. They're also shiny, and they're really smooth when I touch them. But then there are things that are soft, like I have some yarn that's really soft. I have some pipe cleaners. These are also really soft. My ribbons are silky. They're soft, and they're also kind of smooth, like the aluminum foil. I also got some parchment paper. This has almost like a slippery, waxy kind of feel. Um, I got different papers. These are just regular copy paper scraps um, in different colors. They're pretty smooth, but not quite as smooth as the aluminum foil. They have a different kind of texture. I got tissue paper. I have some bubble wrap. That's always fun to touch. Um, I have some kind of metallic and shiny paper. Those are smooth. I got some junk mail. This is paper that's also kind of smooth, similar to my copy paper, but a little thicker. And then I found some other things, some felt. This has a soft feel to it. Although actually it could be a little bit rough almost. It's not super soft like my pipe cleaners or my yarns. I found a bottle cap. You can look in your recycling for things you might be able to use like this plastic bottle cap. If you have a, a bigger plastic lid, you might use that. You could even cut out a shape from it if you like. I have some twist ties. These are fun because they have wire inside so I can bend them around to make different shapes if I want. And I have a couple wooden popsicle sticks. These have a smooth texture that's a little bit different from the paper, the foil, and other things. Um, I also got some masking tape. This has actually a little bit of a rough texture. You might also have things in your house that have textures that are rough, like sandpaper, if you have a little piece of that. Um, you might have soft things like pom-poms, um, fabric, if you have that. Lots of different kinds of fabric have different textures. So what we're going to be thinking about today is not 
what our collage looks like, but what it might feel like. So once you've collected some different materials, if you have ones like these, that's great. If you have different ones, that works great too. And we're just gonna cut them out into small shapes that can fit onto our base. Again, you can use the cardboard or a piece of paper, whatever you have, and we're gonna make our texture collage. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna take some different colors because I do want it to look nice. I have my scraps of paper and I'm just gonna cut out shapes. They don't have to be anything in particular. If you wanna cut out something that looks like a person or an animal or a certain shape, you can do that. I'm just gonna cut out different shapes from mine. And after you cut out your pieces, you can start arranging them. I like to arrange my pieces first and then glue them down because sometimes if you glue down from the start, you might think, oh, I wish I moved that somewhere else. So if we arrange it first, that'll help us not feel that way, hopefully. And I'm just gonna spread these out on different spots on my cardboard. You don't have to use all the pieces. They can overlap a little bit if you like. I think I'm gonna start with that. If you want them to hang off the edge too, you can do that, that's your choice. Now I'm gonna take some of my different textures here. Maybe I'll cut a round shape from my parchment paper, or if you have wax paper, you can use that too. There's a round shape. I'm gonna cut out kind of a rectangle shape. Put those on there. Let's do our aluminum foil next. How about some triangle shapes? You can also, if you um, if you prefer to just rip pieces, you can do that too. So maybe I'll rip kind of a rectangular shape from my aluminum foil. Oh, this is already starting to look cool. All right, my popsicle sticks I'm gonna put down in different spots. I can always rearrange them later. I'm noticing that my parchment paper, since it's kind of see-through, I can layer it on top of some colors and they still show through. And again, we're not making any particular kind of image. We're just thinking about mixing up those textures so that we can feel all the different surfaces on our piece after it's all done. I like this sparkly paper. Wow, I really like how all these layers are looking. And oh, I have this uh, metallic pipe cleaner that it has kind of a rough texture. It's different from my fluffy soft one. Go for those pieces. Oh, I like that green color. Okay, I have my yarn. If I want, I can glue it down to make a shape. I can make a curve, an S shape, maybe a circle. So I'll think about that. I'll just lay them down for now. And then I'll think about how I want them to be shaped later. For the ribbon, I'm gonna keep it flat because I wanna be able to feel that satiny, smooth texture. So I'm just gonna cut a few flat pieces right into my sprinkle look. This is starting to remind me of a pizza with lots of toppings. Oh, I have my bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is so fun to squeeze and pop. Couple pieces. And then bubble wrap is also clear, so we still have that effect where we can put it on top of other stuff and you can still see what's underneath. And, oh, I think I forgot to mention this. I have a couple round stickers. So I don't want to stick them quite yet, but maybe I'll cut them apart and lay them down where I think they might look good. And then I'll peel and stick them later. Yeah, I have a lot of, I didn't mean to do this, I have a lot of reds and pinks on my collage. All right, let's take a look. What do you think? This is a nice mix of lots of colors and shapes, lots of different textures. If you like how your arrangement is looking, then you can start gluing things down or peeling and sticky. I'm gonna start gluing these down. While I do that, you can go visit my friend Emily. She's on a farm and she's gonna show us all the different kinds of textures that you can find at the farm. So go visit with her. I'm gonna glue these down and then I'll see you after. Hey Diane, how's it going? Great to see you. I'm here in the barn today with Cooper the Pony and I'm surrounded by textures. Let's check it out. Now, Cooper himself is a texture sensation. If I reach over and pet him on the neck, I can feel his coat. 
and it feels very thick and soft and fluffy. He has a lot of extra hair right now because it's winter and he needs that hair to keep him warm. If I look over at his forelock, this hair between his ears, that feels less fluffy. It's long and silky, but it doesn't feel quite as soft as his neck. And then you might have noticed I've been giving him trees. It feels really soft to give him a treat because his lips feel like velvet, though they're a little bit wet too from slobber. These treats are delicious. These are Cooper's hooves. They feel hard, kind of like a toenail or a fingernail, but even thicker. And they're a little bit muddy right now because he's been walking around in the pasture. Here's Cooper in his stall. A stall is a special room for horses, and this is where Cooper sleeps. It has bars on the outside so that he can look out and see what's going on in the rest of the barn. If we step inside Cooper's stall and look down, we can see his bedding, which is made of wood chips. If you have a gerbil or a guinea pig, maybe use the same thing in your pet's cage. But of course, a pony uses a lot more wood chips than a gerbil or a guinea pig. The texture is kind of soft. It's made of lots of little particles. Cooper's also wearing a blanket today, and this one is made of fleece. It feels really soft and cozy. This helps keep him warm in winter. And this is hay. This is what Cooper eats. It's made of two different kinds of grasses, orchard grass and timothy, and it feels kind of like dried grass. If you had some dried grass outside, that might be something you could even add to your collage. Thanks for coming to visit me in the barn today, Diane. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the textures. See you later and have fun making art. Oh, hi, wasn't well, that so fun? I love visiting the farm with Emily. All those animals are so cute. So I'm almost finished with gluing all of my pieces down on my collage. You can see I'm almost done. I forgot to mention before that if you want, um, I've covered the surface of my collage base pretty well, but if you want to leave some open spots, you can also use markers, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you like. If you want to decorate some of the open parts or if you even want to draw on top of some of the things that you glue down to add some extra color, that's another option. I have a lot of colors in mine and there's a lot of space being taken up by all my different texture materials, so I think mine's okay, but I just wanted to let you know you can do that too. All right. My collage is all done. What do you think? It turned out pretty colorful. I didn't even mean to do it, but I had lots of different colors of different textures. And you can admire this as a beautiful work of art, of course. You could also play a game where the two of you sit together, one person closes their eyes and feels one part and describes what they feel. This is really soft and fluffy. I think it might be one of the pipe cleaners. And it was, and you can try that. So that's great uh, practice for describing things using your words and also to make guesses about what you know and what you think it might be. So if I feel here, I can feel this is smooth. It has a long straight shape and I can feel some edges. I think it's a popsicle stick. <gasps> yeah. So this is a great way to not only learn about making collages and mixing different materials, but also how to use your sense of touch and your describing words so that you can have fun with it too. Thanks so much for joining me for making our texture collage this month. I hope you have fun until next time. See you then.